just in a way I'm really really having that much fun so now it's exciting it's fun it was uh, lovely to be here again but uh, I don't think at the moment I've got enough but I'm in good enough shape I've got one more week so we'll see what happens and how, how happy are you with your performance this weekend thanks mm. sure. So I'm like first time I'm speaking to Stuart Bates, we're going to do one, also down on the plate, Pickering with that one, 100 meters speed, Pickering in three, remember two, I hope you certainly go through. Also down on Leon Baptiste in the red, down the yellow, on Enfield and Harry So the replay you will see if you stack up well. Leon Baptiste and the replay up the gap on those outside him. Stuart Benson to his left. Craig Pickering and the familiar punchy action coming through for second. Those are the automatic qualifiers. The rest will have to wait and see. Our plan was always just to kind of concentrate on Commonwealth Games to give myself the time. But I, I, I kind of had a thought that I might be ready for Europe. It's obviously I really do want to go, but I don't want to go unless I know I'm going to shake it over and be No, to be honest, um, I don't want to go unless I've got the standards. Because at the end of the day, I mean, it's a bit of a catch-22 for me at the moment because I do need those few more weeks. By the Europeans, I'll be ready. But, you know, rules are rules and I think we've got to qualify. To be honest, I don't really even know what the standard is. I think it's 665 from years ago, but it might have changed. So, um, I know that if I'm in 665 shape and I jump to 665, then I know I can go be competitive because I'm the kind of person I am at major championships. But at the same time, if I'm not, I don't want to go there and I don't want to go to the Europeans thinking about bits and pieces of my jump. I want to go there and be really competitive. So. And the last thing, 2012, Well, well the, the funny thing is, actually, you know, after having the year out last year, I was struggling a little bit to be motivated. I really wasn't enjoying athletics. And so doing something out of my comfort zone and doing other things really opened my eyes. It's taken me a little bit of time to get that fire back. But I think the reason why is because I've been around for a long time now and I've done, I think I've done like, this is like my third cycle of everything. So it's even though I haven't won medals and everything, it's quite hard unless for me it's an Olympic Games. And I mean, what else can you say in London? It's like going to be amazing. So everything else is kind of a little bit of a kind of anti-climax until London comes around. So I'm really excited about that. And that's kind of 